hey guys what's up so in this particular lesson we will discuss continue discussing the various important hot topics in science and technology and i've already covered lots and lots of important topics which they have been asking in lot of exams since 2011 12 13 14 15 and they will continue asking till 2018 19 and 20 so though they are in news in 2017 but the genesis of these topics you will see they are they go a long way so let us see the cassini mission so cassini mission they will ask you for which planet it is answer is saturn so first of all the answer is saturn collaboration between nasa european space agency and italian space agency so second answer is it is a collaboration between nasa of usa european space agency of europe and italian space agency of italy cassini huygens machine huygens mission or also called as cassini it is sent to probe uh, sent a probe to study the planet Saturn and its systems including rings of Saturn which is nothing but a debris which failed to become a moon and its natural satellite Saturn has lots and lots of moons okay it was the fourth space probe to visit Saturn and the first to enter its orbit and Cassini revealed Saturn and its moons in stunning detail but its observation of the moon Enceladus are potential game changers in the hunt for life now why do we talk about Enceladus because it spotted plumes of salty water on Enceladus and later found convincing evidence for a subsurface ocean that was feeding the geysers most likely with the help from hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor. Now it also discovered a giant methane lake on Titan. Titan is the largest moon of Saturn. So methane lake on Titan, water on Enceladus and on September 15, 2017 the mission ended as Cassini was deorbited to burn up in the Saturn's upper atmosphere. So it was a beautiful video. You can watch it on YouTube. Question number, uh, sorry, Deep Ocean Mission. So the Union Ministry of Earth Sciences will launch Deep Ocean Mission by January 2018, which is expected to improve India's position in ocean research field. Now, what is this Deep Ocean Mission? Why do you go to Deep Ocean? What is their Deep Ocean? There are a lot of minerals polymetallic nodules pmls then there is which laws is there unclause unclause is united nation convention on the law of the sea okay so india was the first country into the world to have been given the pioneer area for exploration of deep sea mineral namely the polymetallic nodules they have a lot of minerals here in the central indian ocean basin in 1987 and uh, india have exclusive rights under the united nations convention on the law of the sea that is unclause so Unclaus says that India has exclusive rights and uh, although we will identify mineral resources obviously we will develop technologies for mining and extraction it is also this program has also resulted in high impact research as well as manpower development and detailed environmental data has been collected for compliance with international seabeds authorities requirement now why this is required this is required as the mining activity on large scale should not adversely affect the cost of the other countries in the neighborhood so you have a deep ocean mission Fair. let's talk about GSLV Mark 3 D1 rocket that is GSAT-19 so ISRO has recently lost the GSAT-19 satellite try to remember everything about this point it is one of the heaviest communication satellites and uh, it is with the GSLV Mark 3 D1 rocket it is the heaviest satellite to be launched by Indian space agencies ever with the heaviest single payload put in the orbit as well. Now this rocket has the capability to carry a payload as heavy as 4 tons and it can put it in GTO. GTO is very long, it is 36,000 kilometers away. Low earth orbit is just 400 to 800 kilometers. That is why the weight air is higher. So it can also carry a 10,000 kg payload and put it into the low earth orbit that is 400 to 800 kilometers. Now the rocket is basically a three stage launch vehicle which has two solid motor strap-ons, one liquid propellant core stage and finally a cryogenic stage. Cryogenic stage, cryogenic engine we have indigenously built it. Now GSLV mission is very significant for India as if we wanted to launch more than 2300 kgs we dependent on foreign launches. <coughs> so ISRO earlier dependent on foreign launchers for orbiting communication satellites but now no, no longer. ISRO also has plans to use the rocket for manned missions in the future. Now let us talk about cryptocurrency. You might have heard about Bitcoin. Today it crossed 12,000 US dollars and uh, just few days ago it was 5-6,000 US dollars. 
सो अ क्रिप्टो करेंसी इज़ अ डिजिटल और वर्चुअल करेंसी दैट इज़ मोस्टली अनोनीमस एंड यूज इज क्रिप्टोग्राफी फॉर सिक्योरिटी नाउ ऑब्वियसली इट इज़ वेरी वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू काउंटरफिट इट इज़ नॉट इशूड बाई एनी सेंट्रल अथॉरिटी इट इज़ इम्यून टू गवर्नमेंट इंटरफेरेंस डज नॉट मैटर गवर्नमेंट कोलेब्स और नॉट गवर्नमेंट के नॉट मैनिपुलेटेड ट्रांसफर बिटवीन पार्टीज आर इजीली डन विद मिनिमल प्रोसेसिंग फीस नो बडी नोज हु इज गिविंग नो बडी नोज हु इज गेटिंग इफ दे वॉन्ट टू डू इट इट अलाउज यूजर्स टू अवॉइड द स्टीप फीस इज चार्ज बाय मोस्ट बैंक एंड फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशंस ड्रॉबैक्स इज बेसिकली एनोनीमस नेचर है सो दे कैन बी यूज फॉर वेरियस बैड एक्टिविटीज लाइक मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग टैक्स इवेजन टेररिज्म एंड दे आर नॉट इम्यून थ्रू द थ्रेट ऑफ हैकिंग बिकॉज दे आर ऑनलाइन सो दे कैन भी हैक्ड फर्स्ट क्रिप्ट फर्स्ट क्रिप्टो करेंसी वॉज बिटकॉइन विच वॉज लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड नाइन बाई एन इंडिविजुअल और ग्रुप नोन अंडर द शूडो नेम सतोशी नाका मोतो एंड बिटकॉइन सक्सेस एज रिस्पॉन्ड अ नंबर ऑफ कंपीटिंग क्रिप्टो करेंसीज लाइक लाइट कॉइन नेम कॉइन पी पी सी पी पी कॉइन एक्सेप्ट्रा दैन लीगो ऑब्जर्वेटरी इज बेसिकली लेजर इंटरफेरोमीटर ग्रेविटेशनल वेव ऑब्जर्वेटरी इट इज़ अ वेरी लार्ज स्केल फिजिक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट एंड ऑब्जर्वेटरी टू डिटेक्ट कॉस्मिक ग्रेविटेशनल वेवस टू डेवलप ग्रेविटेशनल वेव ऑब्जर्वेशन एज एन एस्ट्रोनॉमिकल टूल एंड दो द मिशन ऑफ लीगो इज टू डिटेक्ट ग्रेविटेशनल वेवस बेसिकली डाटा विल ऑल्सो हैव वेरियस इट विल इम्पैक्ट वेरियस अदर एरियाज इंक्लूडिंग ग्रेविटेशन रिलेटिविटी एस्ट्रोफिजिक्स कॉस्मोलॉजी पार्टिकल फिजिक्स न्यूक्लियर फिजिक्स सो इट इज़ देयर टू डिटेक्ट दी एस्ट्रोनॉमिक गैस लाइक ग्रेविटेशनल वेवस एंड फुल फॉर्म इज इंपॉर्टेंट लेजर इंटरफोरोमीटर ग्रेविटेशनल वेव ऑब्जर्वेटरी नाउ डिटेक्शन ऑफ ग्रेविटेशनल वेवस राइजिंग फ्रॉम द मर्जर ऑफ टू ब्लैक होल्स अबाउट वन एंड हाफ बिलियन ईयर्स अगो इट वॉज हिल्ड एज द बिगेस्ट साइंटिफिक ब्रेक थ्रू इन पास्ट मैनी डिकेट्स एंड ओबियसली इट वाइड एंड आर अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड नाउ वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड मोर अबाउट स्पेस एंड टाइम एंड इट ऑफर्ड बेटर इन साइड्स ऑन दी ओरिजिन ऑफ यूनिवर्स एंड इंडियन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू ग्रो सिग्निफिकेंटली विद द मेटेरियलाइजेशन ऑफ द लीगो इंडिया ऑब्जर्वेटरी विच इज बींग बिल्ड इन दी कंट्री दैन यू सुपर क्लस्टर्स सो गैलेक्सीज सो बेसिकली प्लैनेट्स एंड स्टार दे मेक सोलर सिस्टम वेरियस स्टार्स टुगेदर कम टुगेदर टू मेक गैलेक्सीज and galaxies are the building blocks of the universe they contain a huge number of stars sometimes even 100 billion and galaxy groups can have 3 to 20 galaxies and galaxy clusters like virgo clusters can have several hundred galaxies and clusters of clusters are called as super clusters and unlike the clusters most super clusters are not bound together by gravity within super clusters they are connected by filaments and sheets of dark matter with galaxies embedded in them and uh, Recently, a group of scientists have discovered a very, very large supercluster, which has been named Saraswati, and it will help us in understanding the formation and evolution of early universe. And finally, you have retrovirus. So basically, they cause diseases like HIV/AIDS. So instead of DNA making RNA, here it is they have an enzyme called reverse transcriptase from which they make RNA from DNA. Now this DNA makes RNA, which makes the protein. So it is called as the reverse dogma of life. And uh, so basically. एच आई वी इज दिस ओनली एंड वेरियस अदर लाइक एस टी एल वी वन कॉजेज अडल्ट टी सेल्यूकेमिया सो ऑल दीज आर रेट्रो वायरस थैंक यू वॉचिंग दिस लेसन